Hey guys, Aga Daga Boys here, and today we're going to be replacing both the rear shocks and springs on our 2006 Toyota minivan. And the springs we're going to be using today are from Napa. The part number for this van is 277-3686. And then we are also going to be using KYB gas shock absorbers, the Excel-G. And the part number for these guys for this specific van is 344308. Now the first steps is, is I am going to jack up the car and then I am going to take off the wheels because basically what we do is we jack up the car and we don't want to do it from the axle back here. We're going to pop off our hubcaps here, pop off the wheels and then we're going to go inside, take these covers off, that will get us to our shocks. And then hopefully at that point, I'll show you more once we get in there, but that should drop our whole rear axle. And at that point, there won't be much tension on the springs. You can just pry them right out and we'll get the new ones put in. Cool. Oh. Next, we're going to come inside and pull both the covers off so we can access our shocks. We're also going to check these, make sure they're still good or if they need to be replaced. Now I'm going to take my Allen key, stick it in the center. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to get both these loosened before fully taking them out. There's that one. Oh my sh**. Now at this point we do want to be careful because once I completely loosen up both of these bolts, this whole thing's gonna drop down. I don't see any problems there. There should be enough slack in here. Crunchy. There it is. As you guys can see, just let down our second shock here. We'll pull that one out. And this spring is really bad. Normally you'd kind of have to pry them out. No, it's so busted, it literally just popped out. As we can see, we got other parts of the spring here. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that was shot. Look at that. Another whole ring. Plenty of leeway. Get this bad boy back in there. Okay. Now the final step before we can start putting everything together. Um, as you can see, we took now both our springs out. The shocks are disconnected up top. So the final step is we just got to pop this bolt off on both of them. And we'll start reassembling. There we go. Oh, that's tight. We'll keep this hardware. There we go. Now, finally, as I said, with those shocks off, we can start reassembling but what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm actually gonna disconnect this hose I was looking at it on the other side and I'm like oh that doesn't seem that seems to be fine there's not much tension on it well if we come to this side as you can see the bracket that actually holds us in bent so I was testing I'm like wow there's no tension on here well it wasn't connected so this side's fine but on the other side I will pop this off just so when I do start putting tension on it to try and get those springs in there I don't break these lines There we 
go. So now, yep, yeah, basically the process is you just go backwards. So what I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna get the springs in here, make sure they get all in right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put both the shocks in from inside, get them tightened down inside. And then what I'll do finally is take a jack here on one side and you basically just keep jacking it up. You'll seat, make sure that the spring's obviously seated in place. And then as you slowly bring it up, you'll get the jack lined up here and then or the, the shock will be lined up here and you can slowly jack it up. You'll get it lined up, push it right on, tighten it down, make it real easy rather than putting it on here and then having to put it up and try and get it perfectly lined in there. So let's get her started. And just a little side note to make sure that you do put these in correct. As you can see, there is a little white dot on top here. Both these should have a little white dot. Yep, right there. And on the box somewhere, yep. So here we go, it says right on here that the white dot on spring is installed up. So we'll make sure that they're put in the right way. Let's do a little comparison. So this was the worst one. And as you can see, there is a lot missing here. So yeah, these really need it, especially this one. Now, as we look in here, we do want to make sure that we kind of get it lined up in here. As you can see, I'm not sure it might be rather dark, but there's actually an indent from where the old spring went and the end, you can see ended right there. So I'm going to want to make sure that that is lined up. Oh, as I hit the line, there we go. Perfect. And then we're just going to have to try and get it, make sure, yep, that this rubber kind of bushing is still here. Yeah, we just got to get it over the lip. There we go. With both shocks now slightly installed, they're at least where they need to be, and I'll make sure when I do start jacking up that they go in place. It's now time to install our shocks, which we have right here. And we have all our new mounting hardware here. Now before we install these new shocks, as you can see it came with new hardware. So I popped the old bushing out of the sleeve right here. And this should just get pushed in. They say this washer is supposed to go underneath but there's already one in here. And I'm not going to replace that. And this will get fully settled in once you put the whole weight of the car and everything on it. And then essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to pop this off. This will slide on over. And then this gets mounted in there. And you take your new nut, your washer, and your bushing. And then basically I'll show you build it backwards. And you put it on inside. So we'll get there in a minute. First I am going to toss this over. Look at that. We'll come inside here. We'll take the new nut they gave us. Put this on just so it's held in. And as you saw, I went bushing, washer, and a nut. Now finally, I didn't fully tension this out. I got enough just that it won't fall out because I want to make sure that it is perfectly lined up. Before I do finalize tighten it, so now as you can see, even with it fully extended, it doesn't reach. So what we do now is take these bad boys off now. We just slowly jack this up while making sure the spring 
is lining up into place. Oh. Which, it looks like it is. I'll make sure everything else is good to go. Nothing's in the way or broken, which we're good to go. There we go. Just gotta let her down a little bit. There we go, okay. Nope, too much. Perfect. Here we go, get this started. So this side's good enough for now, I'm gonna let it down. Spring still looks good, everything looks good. We'll let it down, get the other side put up, and we'll tighten it down. Now, another way you could do this also, is if you're by yourself, you can actually take this, we'll compress this down, there we go, essentially, we will get it put on first, now with it on, we can let this go up, and we can also start jacking this up. line it up there we go so as you can see it's slowly extending itself up go up a little bit more I just want to make sure everything's lined up in here so we'll go up a little bit get a little bit of compression in there there we go so that's all lined up now finalize tightening everything down Everything tightened, got both ends of these shocks tightened up. I will give everything just a minute to settle out before I do a final tighten. So before I finish, I'm gonna come back here and basically we will clip and screw in all these lines back in. Make sure this clip lines up and You'll make sure once again nothing's in the way. Finally. Pinch this back down. There we go. Pop these little caps back over them. go finally since everything's set to go get the tires on light her down we'll take her for a quick test drive after a little trip around the block everything seems to be working good tires haven't fall off no weird sounds, nothing else fell off. It seems to be a little bit smoother, so everything worked out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.